Hey, up next to the Marmy Rock Show, we want to welcome back uh, Andre Nadal from Message to Zia. Second time on the show, man. Thanks for coming back on the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me again. Now, I was going to introduce you as a band from Puerto Rico, but I know you're in Florida now. Are you guys headquartered out of Miami these days, or where are you guys calling home these days? Well, we're calling Miami our new home right now. So we're in the main motherland. <laughs> So, uh, the reason we wanted to have you on the show, man, is a great new single out from you guys called Over and Done. So, uh, let's talk about the, the single a little bit. First of all, it looks like it's doing pretty well on a couple charts out there. It is. It's taken off pretty good. It's been getting a lot more spins uh, than the hollow in the beginning. Um, it's a cool song. It's a lot of fun uh, to record that song. We did a, a lyric video not too long ago that's available. We also um, recorded a music video for it. Um, about two weeks ago, and that should be done within the next week or so. Um, so, you know, there was a little acting involved, and, uh, we had Andres Ramirez, director. Um, he directed it, did a really good job. He's based out of California. And, um, yeah, so let's see what happens with the song. Now, last I checked, that thing was actually uh, number 52 on Billboard's Mainstream Rock and moving right on up. That's amazing. So, congratulations on that. Do you watch the charts at all? Um, I tend not to. Personally, I don't look at that too much because it really distracts me and I, I get really overwhelmed, <laughs> to be completely <laughs> honest with you. So, John, the guitar player, and everybody just gives me an update every, every week. Um, I try not to pay too much attention to it because... Uh, I just like to stick to a super reality available. Um, we're a do-it-yourself band. We do everything ourselves. We fund ourselves. So it's really hard for us. And we're competing with some heavy names out there on these charts. So it's pretty flattering to hear that we're on the top, you know, 50s or whatever. Yeah, man, you guys deserve it, man. You're doing really well. Now, um, I read a quote that that song is about um, an internal struggle. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Well, when I wrote the song, um, I was writing the lyrics and I kept imagining um, the story of Meet Joe Black. So it's kind of like the story of of death trying to take you away, but you're not really ready for it. There's so many people who who are like, you know, just want to leave this world and are living such a negative life. And it's like you have so much to live for. And that's kind of what the story is about, you know. It's like you don't really appreciate what you have until your time is up. Um, I also wrote this song because a good friend of mine in Puerto Rico was diagnosed with cancer. And um, and he's such a positive person. And I see people like that that, you know, you just do not want to leave this world. And there's people at the same time who, you know, are taking suicide in their hands and all this negative stuff. And that's what the song's about. Appreciate wow, that's life. amazing hearing that, that part about your friend with cancer, and, and it really hits home to the friend of Spirit Art, so I want to be sure I share that with her. Um, now, is this in advance of an upcoming album? Are you working on a full-length album, or are you guys going to do a string of singles? So check it out. This album's already done. It's called Victims and Villains. Um, the album is already printed, and we have physical copies for the moment. Um, you can only get it on our on our personal um, webpage, uh, from messageofvenus.com uh, on our little store section. And there's a little combo for 20 bucks. You get the, uh, the shirt and the EP and the album. If you just want the album, it's just $10. We don't have it fully released on iTunes as of yet because we're trying to push, uh, the physical CD copy. Um, cause we just want to see a little old school out there for a little bit. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So people can go to messagetovenus.com and pick it up right now. So that's fantastic. Um, hey, so coming up April 25th, man, you guys got a pretty cool gig. It looks lined up called the uh, Earth Day Birthday. Tell me a little bit about that. Birthday. All right, so, yeah, Earth Day Birthday um, is going to be an awesome gig. We're going to be playing with a lot of big names there. We're going to be sharing stage with uh, friends of ours called uh, 12 Stones. I'm sure you've heard of them. Oh, yeah. All the boys are great. We've had the pleasure of being on the road with them before, and they're really cool guys. Um, Nothing More is also going to be on that stage. I um, believe on main stage is Five Finger Death Punch, Slash, and uh, a lot of other big names are going to be out there. So really stoked to be in that gig, and it's also near our home, near our new home, to be said. <laughs> <laughs> so Orlando's only four hour drive and we have a lot of friends based out of Orlando and a lot of fans as well. 
So it's going to be really exciting to be able to play a show that big in front of people we know. Hey, one of my favorite tunes from you guys is still the tune called The Show, and I couldn't believe when I looked back that that was 2010. Can you kind of reflect a little bit about what the journey's been like from 2010 to present? Wow, from 2010 to now, um, these past five years have been um, pretty much a roller coaster, especially for the music industry. So much is changing in the music industry within the past 10 years, and I personally, as a musician, have really seen a huge impact of how it's like sales are just so different. Everything is just all about streaming now, and, you know, the technology of the Internet and streaming has really changed the path of music and for musicians. And uh, probably in a good way. So ever since the show, we've always been a fund-it-yourself, do-it-yourself band. And we're always busting each other's chops. And we made the decision, which was a huge leap, to come to leave Puerto Rico and to come to the mainland to be able to do more shows and to be more accessible for our booking agents to book us for more tours. So it's been a huge jump. It's not easy for us because we're not from here. We're from another island. So it's not like all these other bands who they have family to go to, they have already have vehicles passed down to them, you know, or stuff like that. So we're yeah. like, we're doing this all from scratch uh, as uh, as young men here in Miami. And it's not easy, but we are really trying our hardest. And actually the show is re-recorded and it is on the new album, Victims of Villains. Oh, wow, man. So I'm eager to check that out for sure. It was a great tune. Yeah, and, awesome. Uh, so I love all the little short videos you guys put up, and one that caught my attention was the little one you called it the Tetris Master loading the van. And uh, being a DIY band, man, I doubt how many people realize the challenges, like you guys probably setting up your stuff and all. Like, let people know that don't understand, how early do you have to get to a gig, and how late are you there when you're at a gig? Well, we usually have to be at a gig at the place around 3 p.m., um, and then we're leaving usually last after all the other bands played because um, either we headline or either we're an opening band, but we have a merch booth, so we need to just get as many sales as we possibly can. And um, so that's probably after 2 a.m., and then we get paid, uh, is the last thing that happens is the band gets paid, and that's after the bar settled up, that's after the money from front door has been counted. So we're spending more, a lot more than eight hours sometimes at venues, and it's really not easy, but we do it because we love it. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't understand that that's a 12-hour day for a lot of bands. You know, the, the glamorous road life and all, and just watching you guys do the Tetris thing really, really brought it home for me. Yeah, the uh, whole Tetris system is, is really necessary to have a really organized way of putting all your gear away, um, making certain things accessible at a certain time, like food or like merchandise, have to be the most accessible. Um, and also our gear is really expensive, so we need to make sure that's not slamming all over the place in the back while taking curves. So it is a little bit of a, a little bit of a science. There's a lot of common sense that a lot of bands don't use. I've seen bands load up their gear in the back trailer, just literally piling things up with no common sense. It was like, what are you doing? You're just destroying your stuff. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, man, I, I know you guys take great care with it. So, um, hey, tell me a little bit about the artwork, man. I like the artwork on your albums and Victims and Villains cover looks very cool and the new single. Is that somebody in the band or is that an artist you guys hire? It's an artist we hire. His name is Neftali Cruz. And Neftali actually, um, pretty cool you brought up that topic. He is finishing a comic book for us. We had the Indiegogo. A um, few months back for our last funding, um, and he, we have one of the packages was by the victims and villains. Uh, it's like an everything combo with a with a comic book, and the comic book is kind of like taken off of what the album concept is. It's about these lost messenger space uh, guys, and um, you know, some intense stuff happens in space. I don't know the whole story. John and, and, and Juan are the ones who are more in control of what's happening with the comic book. So that artist, um, we call him every once in a while, like, hey, we have a new single. This is what we want. We want to have, like, a like the uh, the space guy kind of, like, 
have an explosion, internal explosion. We want to see a lot of bright colors. And this guy whipped out this little cover in like a couple of days. And he's the same one who do, who did our, our main album art for Victims and Villain, which is a really, really cool, uh, cover. It has a lot of details of where we've been. Our first, uh, the name of the spaceship is actually called FS Jody, and Jody's the name of our first tour van. So there's a lot of details that, that implement what we've been and who we are into the album. Well, man, it's been really good talking to you again. Uh, once again, this is uh, Andre from Message to Venus, and uh, the album right now, the single right now, Over and Done, is out there, and you can actually get the whole album if you go to messagetovenus.com. And, uh, hey, man, thanks again for being on the show. It's always good talking to you, and uh, good luck out there on the road. Thank you so much, man. It's a pleasure talking with you. Really good. Thank you for having me.